Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Dennis. And I'm Teresa Nato. Welcome to Able Lives Incorporated, a spin-off from the Emmy Award-winning series, Able Lives, which explored the lives of people with disabilities. Able Lives Incorporated is about the work-related issues of people with disabilities. Throughout this new series, we will visit the workplace, talk with experts, and meet some fascinating people on the job. In this, the first episode of Able Lives Incorporated, we look at issues related to the employer, what they look for in a new employee, how they respond to employees who later acquire disabilities, the benefits of having a diverse workforce, and a feature look at members of a small retail outlet. Also, for the first time, we'll be presenting a series of one-minute dramatizations for your review. Before we get to our first segment, here's a preview of what's to come. Bridgeport mayoral aide Ruben Felipe says take him for who he is. He's the sum of his parts. I got hit by lightning tomorrow, and I didn't have to walk with a cane. Or it would be very strange. People think, oh, you'd be so grateful. and you'd be... I don't know. Part-time landscaper Michael Corbo talks about his life-changing experience. And the rope that I had um, came detached, so I fell from the tree. IPC Marketing Director Lois Leibowitz says equal opportunity is simply picking the best. I think it's just part of the culture of the company to cast a wide net and look for the best candidates and whoever those best candidates are are the people that we hire. In our first segment we meet Michael Albert who at 19 years old was looking for his first job and all he was sure of was that he loved the movies and the people at the local video store. Richard! Michael was hired because his mom called and um, asked if there was anything that Michael might be able to do here. So yeah, I had a little hesitation. I'm like, wow, is, you know, is he going to be able to manage and be focused and actually what would he do? We figured out different things that he might be able to do, simple maintenance jobs. I take the bread in from outside, I then take the recycling out and put it in the back. Why are you doing the recycling? for the earth to make the earth better. He could break down cardboard. Uh, then we, we really needed something more for him to do. I straighten out the DVDs and videos, and I also put DVDs and videos away as well. You know, we have over 300 categories. It's challenging for anyone, for anybody. It's the, probably a much more challenging job than working in any commercial video store. So I'm straightening out these DVDs so that they look nice for the customers. They have to make sure that it's in alphabetical order from A to Z. Good, it has to be in order one, two, three, so that they know the first version is in, the second version is in, and the third version is in. You know, he's working with uh, movies. You know, it's not any kind of a uh, simple labor job. It's a, you got to think about it. With the all the ones that are the same, it's good to face them out because it gives the people, the customers, a great view of the DVDs. It's the photography eye is what I call it. If they have it like this, they can't tell what it's really about, but if they see it like this, then they can tell what it's about. He'll focus on that and be able to um, give it his all. I mean, total focus. A lot of people, you know, their minds are wandering and uh, they're thinking about the next thing to do or thing they don't want to do, whereas Michael just does it and no questions asked. He's uh, very dependable in that way. You want me to straighten out? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to straighten these out to make them look better. I don't know anybody who can straighten the store better than him. And when he's done, uh, it looks fantastic. It's important because it helps people. It helps the store. The customers want to get stuff here. They want to see a good environment here. What about the quality of his work? Does he do a good job? Yeah, better than anybody else we've ever had. Really? Or have. It's true. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, I would. We've been in business 22 years, and we've always had a lot of funky people working for us, artists, musicians. Um, smart, interesting, funny, quirky people. He fits right in. Hey, here's my paycheck, which I receive every other week on Thursdays. I'm so proud of this check. I love it. It's money. It's cash. It's security. Deposit. I'm going to cash it today, later, after best video. 
And what will you spend that money on? I don't know. I got to think about it. I got to think about it. We have a lot of guys working here, and I think it's helped him go from being a boy to a man. And because we we don't treat him any differently, he's very funny, know, right? and we can be very funny. So we really egg him on. What does Uncle John say? I'm going down the sill with the rest of the crap. <laughs> That's what John Gruber said. <laughs> Uncle John. Yeah. Uncle John. He also says, well, I'm out of here. Every morning I see him, he says, are you my dad? I miss you. Where's Richard? Did anything scary happen here lately? He likes to say. So I usually say yes and then tell him, you know, there was a ghost, uh, Richard stepped on a nail, and then he says, is that a J-O-K-E? And, um, you know, he goes about his thing. Why don't you say, is today Friday anymore? It's today Friday. It was his 21st birthday. And there was a social worker there, and she said to me, you do break his balls, right? You do egg him on. And I go, oh, yes, mercilessly. And she goes, good, because he loves that, and it's good for him. And so we do that, and it's back and forth. I love it here. So fun. Having Richard and all my co-workers here, Leg, Dave, they're all so nice to me. Richard's one of my best friends. Everybody here and Hank, too. We're all a great staff here. He is loved by everyone. And he's got a, re a really great personality and uh, a really big heart. And, uh, but he, beyond that, of course, he does a great job. You plan on staying here for a long time? Oh, yeah, for the rest of my life. Money is security. Security is money. I need this money so I can get what I need. Money which makes the world go round. It certainly does, Michael. And all the subjects of our segments on Able Lives Incorporated understand the value of a good job. That's the case with mayoral aide Ruben Felipe, who knows what it's like to be challenged right from the start.